All right, I'm gonna show you how to use the Oasis installer to install Oasis on your 2070 controller. So what I do is go ahead and power off the controller, make sure I have a 2070 cable. Um, you can get them from Econolite. Uh, I think they're about 20 bucks, or you can make one yourself in front of the Oasis manual. It should tell you how to make it. So what I go ahead and do is open the Oasis installer. I click on this one. All right, you will need admin rights to your laptop, or you won't be able to use this installer. So give it a second, it'll pop up. We go to COM settings, port, I'm using port three. Your port will change depending on what USB port you're using on your laptop. If you don't know how to figure out which port you're using, go down to your search bar, put in device manager, and it'll tell you what, if you haven't used an adapter. Since I have used an adapter, I don't have a uh, port like this on my laptop. All right, from here we're gonna download, hit download, hit okay. Hit start. Now menu will pop up. Now from here, we're gonna hit okay. Give it a few seconds, power on. And then we'll have this dollar sign. That means we're in terminal, we're in kernel. The installer's working. Just let it do its thing. Now there is times that sometimes this installer's kind of finicky. Sometimes it won't work. And it's nothing that you've done wrong. You just have to exit out of everything, return the controller off, try it again. It's just kind of finicky, but that's it. Oh, another, uh, another thing. If you're trying to reinstall, I always suggest reformatting the R0 drive on your 1B, 1E. Um, I made a previous video on how to do that. But anytime I reinstall software, I always format that drive. But that's it.